Hey guys, welcome to the channel once again and today's video was supposed to be a OnePlus 6 video because well, I decided at the start of this month that there would be alternate days wherein each device would be having a video. That means one Redmi 4A and one OnePlus 6. But the good news for you guys is that MIUI 10, I've got my hands on a ROM, which is basically MIUI 10 and it is in the alpha stage. So there might be bugs. And the best part is that it was released or, you know, it was released for closed testing for the Riva device that is Redmi 5A and it has been ported to Redmi 4A. There are a few instructions that are to be followed in order to ensure you get full functionality out of this. So yes, you heard it right and you read it right as well. We are going to have a look at MIUI 10 on the Redmi 4A and as to how to flash it on the Redmi 5A, it is a little easier. So the instruction for that device will be mentioned in the description. So you can go ahead and check that out in case you have a Redmi 5A as well. But for now, we are going to install MIUI 10 on the Redmi 4A. I probably believe this is the first ever video of MIUI 10 on Redmi 4A. Now, how many bugs are there? What is working? What is not working? And how to set it up is something I'll be showing in this particular video. So, you know, as excited as you are, I'm excited too. And I would recommend you can definitely give it a try after backing up all your information. All the download links, the flashing procedures and everything will be mentioned in the description. And if there is anything missing, mention a comment and I should go ahead and reply to that. All right, so here we are. We have TWRP installed and we are going to install MIUI 10. Now remember, this is Rolex that we are looking at and the procedure that we are going to follow in this particular video is going to be for this particular device that is the Redmi 4A. Now, the ROM that we have here is a ported one. That means Google apps are already included, but the one which you're going to install on Riva, that is Redmi 5A, the procedure is slightly different because the ROM for that is a China ROM. So you need to flash Google apps manually and you need to flash a few other things as well so before we begin just a little heads up you need to have at least 50 percent battery and you need to make sure that all your data is backed up because you may lose some information but it's always a good idea to go ahead and back up and then flash anything new now there are a lot of things that have been fixed while porting this particular rom but there might be occasional lags so there is a fix for that occasional lag and there is one more fix which is you know manually needed to be done after the rom has booted up so the first thing to do is go to wipe and then go to advanced wipe now over here we'll select dalvik system dalvik system data cache vendor and so anything that stores your files like internal storage or micro sd we will not be wiping those so swipe to wipe wait for the wipe to complete and after that go back to the main screen go to install I hope you've downloaded and copied the file to your phone's internal memory. This is MIUI 10 ported Alpha Rolex. That is for the 4A. Select that file and swipe to flash. So once again, this is basically MIUI 10 and I think it is based on Android 7.1 Nougat for this particular device. I don't think officially the Redmi 4A should be getting Android Oreo, let alone Android P at all. So wait for the ROM to flash. It will take anywhere between uh, two to five minutes. Now, this is a MIUI based ROM. So if you are accustomed to watching my videos, which are based on custom ROMs, well, expect a lot of different things on here because MIUI ROM will take a little longer to flash and the first boot may take up to 10 minutes. And that is the case usually with MIUI ROMs. But then again, this is MIUI 10, so it might boot up a little faster. Anyways, let's wait for the ROM to flash and then we will see what the first boot has to say. Apart from that, there is no need for you to flash Lazy Flasher or Majisk. So that is something that is already fixed in this. This is sort of a custom ROM based on MIUI 10, if you will. For the Redmi 4, it is not an official official release. That should come after the 24th of July. That is when the beta test or alpha test for MIUI 10 devices will be concluded. Let's wait for the ROM to flash and then we will look at the first boot. All right, so looks like the ROM has been flashed and uh, something interesting that I noticed here is that the developer has already included Majisk. So towards the end of the flash, Majisk automatically flashed, which is a good thing. So we will go ahead and wipe cache and go back to the home screen, reboot, system, do not install. Now, as I said, MIUI ROM first boot may take up to 10 minutes. So if it takes that long, 
don't think that you know it is in a boot loop or the rom is not booting up or is it buggy because i have personally got it from a developer who has ported this rom he has tested it there were a lot of bugs because it, this is of course a alpha rom and you know not many things were working especially when xiaomi have not officially announced that it is available for the redmi 4a so you know we're just i guess we're just lucky that we have our hands on it and uh, yeah, so I'll be using it as a daily driver and uh, let's see how it goes. Let's wait for the first boot to complete and I'll tell you how long did it take. All right, so looks like the ROM has finally booted up. Now, there are a few things that have to be mentioned over here. First of all, if you are from India or any other country that uses something like Geo's HD calling or voice over LTE, then this is definitely not a daily driver for you because voice over LTE as of now is not working. Now, that is the first bug that I have come across. And apart from that, one major thing which you would have noticed ideally when flashing is that you have to wipe internal storage as well now i would recommend you to do that you can try you know flashing this rom the way i did but then again in case you face any force close or anything of that sort back up all the data from your internal storage wipe everything copy the rom to your phone's internal memory and then go ahead and flash it because that is when it will boot just fine now lazy flasher is pre-included uh, Majisk is pre-included so the ROM is rooted and all and if you if you don't care for voice over LTE actually it is not such a bad ROM because if you go ahead and have a look at it the complete feel and look of MIUI 10 is there and the animations is something now when I saw the announcement for MIUI 10 my first impressions were that boy this particular ROM or this particular software is going to make a lot of difference to devices which are low end because obviously high end devices like the Mix 2S and stuff have all the horsepower in the world to run whatever operating system needed the place where a good software optimization comes into the picture is on devices like this and it shows now as much as i can see there are very few apps because this is a china rom with google apps if you look at the animations here they are very very quick without me making any changes to that and if you closely have a look to this particular icon over here when i go back that subtle animation is just beautiful. Now, there are a couple of fixes that are available. There is a fix to, you know, go ahead and convert the Chinese Play Store to English. There is a build prop edit that you have to do. At the same time, if you experience occasional lags, there is something called as Kernel Auditor, which is a free app available on the Play Store, which you can go ahead and install and make some changes. So these two things will be mentioned in the description. So if you wish to use this ROM as your daily driver, just go ahead and apply those two fixes and your experience should be much, much smoother. But apart from that, let's quickly go to settings here. And, and if you go to my device, Let's go to all specs here. So yes, I was right. This is Android 7.1.2 Nougat is what we have here. No sign of any Oreo as of yet. And I'm pretty sure it won't get it as well. But from the first impressions and, you know, the whole idea of this video was to let you guys know that MIUI 10 is definitely coming to Rolex and it is already there for Riva. So, you know, pretty, pretty big news for this device. Go ahead and give this ROM a try if you don't use voice over LTE. Let me know in the comment section if you are excited about it. And once this is stable to be used as a daily driver, definitely there is a full review coming of this particular ROM. But for now, this was an install and first look of MIUI 10 for the Redmi 4A and the 5A. Once again, thank you for your time. This is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. See you in the next one. Goodbye. When I'm with you, I am able to keep pushing my limits and all the drive that I have while I'm going.